The newest product from our finder is the P2, the Papa 2 tablet. This is a seven inch version of the tablet predecessor to the new 10 inch version that will eventually be coming out. It runs an Android operating system. It has a full built-in dual band DMR and analog radio, just like the newest uh, R Finder B1. And it will also take a SIM card. Just like a phone, you can add a SIM card to the tablet and the tablet will do your data work for you. Let's take a look at it right now. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Thanks for joining us today, guys. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. And if you've watched any of my episodes in the last year or two, you know that I love talking about the R-Finder device. In a nutshell, the R-Finder device is a full Android device with a two-way radio built into it. His first couple of models, the H1, the M1, and the K1, were mono band only, uh, usually 440. He did have some two meter versions. When the B1, the Bravo one, came out uh, about a year and almost a uh, year and a half, almost two years ago at the time of this recording, it was the first dual band model that incorporated two meters and 440 into the back of a Android device. And I have done several videos about this unit. It is a hardened device, IP67 rated. It is part 90 type accepted, and it works very well for what it does. Well, newest from it, from him, from this company, and our finder is based out of New York. He's in Long Island, New York. Yes, the devices are made in China, but they're designed by Bob from Long Island, New York. They're made in China. They're shipped over here, and then he distributes them uh, out of Long Island. He's got some vendors through gigaparts and hro at the time of this recording and a few vendors overseas as well so it's possible to get these devices pretty much everywhere they are wool devices which means they take dual sim cards which means they work on multiple networks and today we're going to look at this brand new offering from him which is the p2 tablet now he did have a p1 tablet that looked exactly like this one from the outside it was a monoband tablet with a big 14,000 milliamp hour battery it was huge uh, was limited to five watts, just like this one is. This is the Papa 2, the P2, and it does dual band just the same way that the Bravo one does dual band. And it's great because you can mount it in a car, put an external antenna on the SMA connector and use it to drive down the road and click on repeaters near you because it uses the GPS to find where you are and tell you what's close to you. So let's take a look at it right now. So the first thing I really noticed about this device is that it's, it's definitely rugged and sturdy. It is uh, some people, in fact, in a video that I posted about a week ago at the time of this recording, I was using this device with the Hammers app, the Ham Radio software app for logging parks in the air contacts while making activations at Galveston Island State Park. And I said in the video that I was using the P2 tablet and I was using the Ham RS app, which is right here. And this is what I was using to log my contacts. But still people came along the video after the fact and they're like, what what radio or what what tablet is that? And what what app is that? Where do you get the case? Where do you get the case for the for the tablet? This is not a case, this is the entire tablet. This is what it looks like here. It's all built in as one unit. It is a seven inch screen this way. It is running Android 8.1, which quite frankly is really my only complaint with it. It's just an older version of Android. Now there's nothing in the world wrong with 8.1. It is, I mean, they've got like 10 or 11. I know they've got 10. I, I think they might even be to 11 out at this point in time. So there's nothing in the world wrong with an older version of Android, but it is kind of a drawback for those of you wanting the latest and greatest in operating systems. But regardless of that, it has everything that your regular old everyday Android tablet would have. I have YouTube TV right there. I've watched TV on this thing sitting in the truck before. During the Texas winter storm, I use this to watch news reports for local weather and local newscasting around the Galveston area, which is where we were stuck at the time. But it has here at the top, it's got a, it's got a channel knob and a volume knob, which you can change there. This is your power button. These are your, this is a, this is like some kind of infrared device that I don't know what, I don't think he's implemented anything on that yet. I've never actually used that part of it myself, that back down there. This is your SMA connector. No, I'm sorry. This is your microphone connector. It does have a microphone that, that it comes with, or it's an, it's an option for the microphone. 
this speaker mic here. It is a powered speaker mic. So you, you charge the microphone via micro USB cable right here. You can turn the microphone off and on. I've gone two to three weeks between charges in this microphone, never had a problem with it. It holds a charge for a very long time. Uh, so you've got your standard uh, 3.5 3 millimeter plug that you go in here and plug it in. The only thing you have to do when you plug in the microphone is go into this section right here that says PTT, and this will be by default turned on to earphone button, POC earphone button. So you just tap it once and it changes to PTT instead of POC. By default, it's POC. You tap it once, it changes to PTT, and it enables the push to talk feature in this port up here. So now you've got this port, which will work for both push to talk and audio coming in. He does have a Y adapter in here, so you can plug in the microphone and an external speaker both at the same time. This is the SMA connector. It takes a standard SMA male port right here. It, it does come with an SMA female antenna. I prefer the signal stick antenna. And I'll put a link to the signal stick antenna in this uh, video below. This is the flexible signal, st signal stick dual band antenna. And it has uh, SMA. And you can get signal, signal sticks in multiple styles and connection types. This is the SMA female, obviously. Puts, it connects right in there. And, or you can take any standard old antenna and connect it up there. It is not a proprietary connection at all. The sides over here don't have much on them. On the bottom here, it has two separate USB-C ports. The first one is a charging port. If I can get these open. Right there. The first one is a charging port. This is a charging port here. This is a data port. So you can go into the, connect the tablet to your computer, share files, do updates, sideload applications, and whatnot like that. This right here is just a mount for later expansion. I've never actually used that little port myself. On the back here, this is where your SIM card goes. It is a waterproof hatch, so you want to make sure you tighten it down real good. These connection, these uh, bolt-on connections back here are a standard type of connection, so you can find pretty standard mounts for that and go from there. These are cameras right here. You can do video camera. You can do still camera, regular old Android stuff. So like I said a minute ago, the first thing I noticed about this tablet is that the... Uh, the screen on it really, really is nice. It's a very pretty screen. So we come up here and we open up YouTube, my channel, Wi-Fi signal out here in the shack is not the greatest. I need to put an extender out here. But anytime you're watching YouTube, you see how, how pretty. I hope it kind of translates through the camera, but it's definitely, there's the, there's the video that we did a while back with Bob on the live stream. But it's just a really great looking screen. And it's got a front firing speaker here. You can use these two buttons for push to talk if you don't have a microphone. This is volume, obviously. This is actually a channel. I think there, uh, there's a way to go in there and set it to change this to where it'll work for volume also. Right now I have the volume set right here. And then you have home, okay, back, and different buttons you can use right here. Some sometimes these are programmable, but this is the B. The B. I'm sorry. This is the P2, the Papa 2 tablet from R Finder. It is a good addition for those of you who want to use a mobile radio. If you've ever used your R Finder B1 in the car. Um, you know, the screen is not that big. Driving down the road, you have to unplug the antenna, plug it in the external antenna, put it on the mount every time you get into and out of the car. This one just stays in my truck. In fact, I use this during my road trip when I went uh, to Outer Banks, North Carolina, up to Long Island and back down through Huntsville, Alabama, home. Spent two weeks on the road doing overlanding, doing parks on the air, doing all kinds of stuff. This was the tablet that I used as my mobile radio. Now, it's only five watts on both bands, but he's working on an amp that's that will be a dual band amp that will do both dmr and analog that will match nicely on the back of this so i just used it on five watts talked on local repeaters refreshed the r finder app each time it the gps told me where i was you clicked on program you key up and you're talking on the repeater and it's all good so links to this will be in the description below i'm very happy with this product i'm happy to see what the 
updates will be to it. It's got plenty of memory and plenty of horsepower for the CPU and processor to upgrade it to later versions of Android uh, 10 or later. It is going to incorporate the DMR ROIP, what they call him DM ROIP, which is the radio over IP that cuts out the RF to where you can talk into the Brandmeister network directly from the tablet and or phone without going over RF. That's not really radio. It's not really my thing. I think it's a cool feature, but the thing I'm most excited about about both of these devices is the fact that they will work via RF. They have an actual dual band RF radio built into them. So they are a great addition to the community and I like how much they get updated and how responsive they are to community requests through the R Finder Facebook group. So let me know if you have this tablet. Let me know if you have the B1. If you're happy with it, what would you like to see improved about it? What would you like to see added to it? He had a couple of new ideas for stuff he's added that he told me about when I was up there in Long Island visiting him in April of 2021. And some of the stuff he's got planned for it sounds really fun. So put your comments below. Let me know what you think. 73. And thanks for watching today.